Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Publisher gives you margin guides that appear on screen to assist you in staying within the printable page area. Margin guides are one type of layout guide that you can use when designing publications. In this lesson you will learn about the other types of layout guides like ruler guides, baseline guides, and grid guides. You can add guidelines to your publication by using the buttons available within the Layout button group on the Page Design tab of the ribbon. To add a ruler guide to your page for object alignment, click the Guides button in the Layout button group on the Page Design tab and then choose a set of ruler guides to add from the drop-down menu that appears. Note that you could also select the Add Horizontal Ruler Guide or add vertical ruler guide commands from the button's drop-down menu to add a single horizontal or vertical ruler guide to the center of the page. You can also add ruler guides to your page by clicking directly into either ruler and then dragging your mouse into the page to place a ruler guide at the location at which you release your mouse. You can also adjust the position of ruler guides on screen by clicking and dragging them to a new location with your mouse. To do this, place your mouse pointer over the ruler guide until your mouse pointer turns into a double-pointed line intersected by an arrow. Then click and drag the ruler guide to the desired location in the publication. To remove a ruler guide, click and drag it off the publication page into the scratch area. To view the grid and baseline guides, click the Guides button in the Layout button group on the Page Design tab and then select the Grid and Baseline Guides command from the button's drop-down menu. In the Layout Guides dialog box, the Grid Guides tab appears. You can create additional columns and rows within a page using the settings on this tab. Enter the number of columns to appear within the page into the Columns Spinner box in the Column Guides section. Enter the desired column spacing to allocate by using the Spacing Spinner buttons in the Column Guides section. Then enter the number of rows to have within the page into the Rows Spinner box in the Row Guides section. Enter the spacing to allocate between the rows in the Spacing Spinner box. If you want to indicate the center between the columns and rows you have added, check the Add Center Guide Between Columns and Rows checkbox. Doing this will place a pink guide that indicates the center between the columns and rows to your page. When finished adding columns and rows, click the OK button to apply them to the page. To add baseline guides, which lets you align text lines across multiple columns, click the Guides button in the Layout button group on the Page Design tab and then select the Grid and Baseline Guides command from the drop-down menu. Click the Baseline Guides tab within the Layout Guides dialog box. Enter the desired point values for the spacing, and offset of the baseline guides into the spinner boxes of the same names. After entering the desired values, click the OK button to apply them. To view the baseline guides in your publication, click the Baselines checkbox in the Show button group on the View tab in the ribbon. To align selected text to the baselines that you set, which may override existing paragraph line spacing, select the text to align to the baselines and then click the Paragraph Settings button in the lower right corner of the Paragraph button group on the Home tab of the ribbon. Then check the Align Text to Baseline Guides checkbox in the Align Spacing section of the Paragraph dialog box that appears. Then click the OK button to continue. If the line spacing for the selected paragraphs is greater than the Baseline Guides spacing, a warning message box will then appear to tell you that fact and ask if you want to save the paragraph settings. To continue and discard the paragraph settings, click the Yes button. To return to adjust the height of the paragraph line spacing, or to go back to adjust the height of the baseline guide spacing, click the No button instead. Then simply adjust whichever setting you prefer to get your desired alignment. To ensure objects added to your page snap to the nearest baseline or page object for alignment purposes, select either or both the Guides and Objects checkboxes in the Align To section of the Layout button group on the Page Design tab. 
Then when you add objects to the page, you will see small lines appear next to the objects to show you when an object is aligned with a nearby guide or another page object as you drag it around on screen. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.